what's up guys and welcome back to my channel so today i'm back again with another strategy your kino strategy you are going to use to get spikes and scalp so you can get scalp using this strategy and you can also scalp chicks okay so let me jump into the settings first then i'm going to be reading the list some examples okay so let me just uh, clear this chart so that we will have a fresh start as you can see my strategy here and we will get a right here so we are going to step up to get a right so step up here go to indicators our first indicator is the usual uh, our first moving average on the main chart is going to be moving average period 50 shift 0 method exponential apply to close color I use the Right there. Then for the second moving average, we're going to add moving average period is going to be 200. Then same as that one method exponential apply to close color. I use paper. You can choose any color of your choice. It's done. Then uh, the indicator window. We're going first going to add what the ADX is here. Uh, Average directional moving detail ADX so on the top right there. Then uh, as you can see, these are the what default settings, right? So we're going to change here. Period, we're going to use one. Then for the style, all the colors, we're going to change them to what? The color of our background. So my background is white. So I choose white. Your background is black. You can use black. And then for the levels, Right here, uh, we add three levels level 10, level 50, level 90. Right? Then click what done. Let me increase what thickness of what of the yeah, so it's just levels right here. I want to increase what the thickness and the color. I also want to use black so that what. My levels become bold, right? You can see now they are, they are bold, right? So now we're going to add the uh, moving average. Period is going to be on the indicator window, right? Period is going to be 10 exponential, like to close. Then I'm going to increase the thickness on this one. Then color and bring it green. Click what done. You can see there's a moving average here, right? And then now we are going to add the parabolic SR, parabolic SR, this one right here. And click this one. So the setting x 0 0.02, then maximum 0 0.05, then color, I'm going to go with paper, okay? And click that. So for this strategy we are going to the zoom level we're going to be using. If you zoom up like this, then we are going to zoom in just in once. Zoom in just once. Like that. That's the zoom level what we are going to be using, right? So let me quickly go into the into the rules. So as I said earlier, this is the what? A three in one strategy. We're going to be catching up spikes and at the same time we're going to be catching up keeps using the same strategy right depending on the time frame that we are in in the current trend right so we are going to be trading with the, with the trend right as usual right so that's it so if you are new to this channel with a subscribing liking and turn on your notification bell get notified whenever I post content like this right so our first condition we first look for for the 52 and cross right here Right there, then uh, we are for this 200 cross. We use it for market direction to determine the what the trend, right? So, is in this case a cross for what for a downtrend, right? So, we're only going to be looking for for sales setups, and this is crash 
1000 so we are looking forward for spikes in this one in this at this time right so this is the what one minute time frame so for our entries we are going to be entering as you can see here first we have got our 5200 cross right and then we are going to look if the parabolic this is our cross right here people don't they are above what if they are above the moving average we are going to be entering on our sales so in our sales as long as what the parabolic SAR are still at above what? above the level above the green line above the our EMA right so in this case we have held our sale until we saw what this parabolic SAR going under the what? the moving average right that's when we exit our trade and when they came back above what the EMA we enter what? another sale so we are going to be hold, holding for, for a while then right here we exit our trade here and parabolic SAR we under the what the EMA right and we enter again when, the, when they came above what the EMA so this is what we are going to be doing right so we are only looking for what for sales setups as long as what the EMAs are crossing for a what hundred right so here in the parabolic SAR we are above what the green moving average we are only looking for for ourselves and we hold to what until here when they came below the what moving average right so that's what we are going to be doing for the spy let me check for boom this was crash right then let me check boom wait it's been right we are only for this example we are looking for for buy setup for spike right for safe perfect condition we look for for the 5200 cost right here we get it right here right. that's our 5200 cost then we enter as long as we parabolic SAR are under the green moving average right so here we could have entered our buy when the parabolic SAR appeared out below the moving average we could have held our trade till here this is all right there when the what when the parabolic SAR went above the what moving average above the green moving average so we could have to see what till there then so that's it for what for spy catching here first confirmation 5200 cross then parabolic SAR above what and below the what the green moving average we enter our, our buy exit when the parabolic SAR hit above what the moving average and then for ticks for scalping ticks we start with the this let's choose what this boom then check another example for what for a crash right so for scalping ticks firstly as usual look for this confirmation 5200 cross in the direction of four ticks right then we enter our trade in the parabolic SAR appear above the green moving average in this case it appeared around this level right there enter our sales there and we have failed on two they appeared above one uh, below the one the green moving average we could have entered another sale here when the parabolic SAR appeared above what? Above the green moving average. So this is quite a simple strategy and it's very profitable as long as if you follow all the what, all the rules, right? Here, parabolic SAR in this current market price, they are above what? As you can see, they are above what? The green moving average. But we are not entering a sale. Why? Because the EMA are crossing for a sale, right? So we are only looking for for sale setups in this one scenario, right? So that's what we are going to be doing. Let me check for what crash. Let me crash. Let's put crash 500. No? Right. So here we are looking for for ticks. So 
Test confirmation. The 5200 course will reach ITA. We enter out. We then we look for if our parabolic SAR is uh, below the green moving average and it went below the green moving average here. It was around this point. We order our, our trade until the parabolic SAR appear above the, the green moving average. Right? So this is what we are going to be, to be doing. It's quite simple and very profitable. So generally we are going to be holding for for generally we can get 10, 10 candles. We'll be guaranteed 10 candles each and every time to follow what the rules. Here we have got what? 5200 cross, right? Parabolic SAR below the green moving average. We enter our, our buy to be held 10 pips and we are out, right? Parabolic SAR below the green moving average. We enter 10 pips, get out 10 pips, right? Because the EMA direction is too favorable, not our, our trade, right? So, this is what we are going to be doing. It's quite simple. Right here, right here. Parabolic SAR appeared below, below the green moving average, but we don't enter. Why? Because what? 5200 cross is in a downtrend, it's showing out a downtrend. So, we are only looking for what for sale setups when the parabolic SAR appear above what the green moving average. So, that's what we are going to be doing. Let's see if it works or not. Boom 5 and boom 300. So, I use this on, uh, on the one minute and five minute thing too. That's where it works best. That's where I personally use it because I'm a scalper. I like scalping. But if you're a swinger, you can also try using it when the H1, M15, and all those things like that. So, here, yeah, our first confirmation 5200 cross. Got that right there. Enter our sales window. Parabolic SAR appear above, above the green moving average. Enter our sales. Enter our sales day. Enter our sales day. Right. So, you can see that it's quite a, quite a simple strategy. Here, spike aging 5200 cross or blue case are up here below the below the green moving average. Enter our buys here, enter our buys there. You see, and also enter when the what uh, when the candlesticks touch this what this moving average, there will be high chances of what the market spiking. So, those are going to be our our first what entries, right? Here, we got what. Enter here, enter there. When the candle starts, the EMA has a strong signal. You can enter our, our buy spot to stop for spikes. Right? In politics, there is no need for sniper sniper entries, but spikes we have to enter when the moving average is what? When the candle starts, the moving average is right? for our. For a sniper entry, right? So, this is quite a, a simple strategy. Let me show you. Trust the 100, then we'll be done for this video, right? Trust the 100 right there. Just confirmation here 5200 cross parabolic SAR above the, the green moving average. We enter our sale and hold, right? That's a lot of money right there. Right here, 5200 cross, and let's put back to the, the 50 MA, or the look SAR above the green moving average. We enter our, our sales and hold. Let me look for ticks, for scalping ticks, and then we'll be done for this video. Right here, 5200 cross, and for the look SAR appear below the green moving average. We enter right here with the held. 10 pips or even more, so it's around 20 pips, 20 candles. I'm sure, right? So, this is quite a simple one, a simple strategy. Still confirmation, put it on the cross, enter there, enter there. So, if you like this strategy, like, subscribe, 
and she had contact. You can also she check our previous videos because uh, you may not be comfortable using what the strategy, but uh, you can like what our previous strategies that I share, so you can use those. Okay, so like, subscribe, and turn on your notification bell. You're not by doing it, I post new content.